All right, welcome back to EU4, Frankish Fury. So, I might as well just get rid of this con uh, country to hire Kondoltiari because I can't hire Kondoltiari anymore. Yeah, that's kind of the bad side of taking this professional army right here. Because the amount of Kondoltiari you can send out is related to how many available mercenaries you have. Which is kind of fucking dumb, but alright. So, I am pretty soundly going to become the Emperor. And... Honestly, I don't think it's possible for me to lose. Like, I would need to, like, lose so much prestige, so much legitimacy, so much Diplo rep to be able to lose at this point that I just don't think it's going to happen. Bohemia is also willing to vote for me, if it wasn't for the planet. Fucking bitch. That's fine, though. Gains professionalism. We gotta keep our army very professional around here. We're gonna have the fucking most professional army in the goddamn world. And the game agrees with me on that, because it just keeps giving me professionalism events. Hell yeah. So we're almost at the point where I can embrace the colonialism, which is great because it gives you extra trade. But then again, if it gives everybody extra trade, does it really give anybody extra trade? I don't know. Probably not. I don't want to lose prestige, but then again, I could probably afford to lose 10 prestige at this point. But then again, that's also how the game gets me. <laughs> it keeps giving me these outrageous demands. And it's going to keep taking away my prestige. But you know what? I think i got to afford at least 10. Yeah, that's still fine. See? It's fine. There are no issues here. Yeah, when Brandenburg dies, I will become the emperor. Unfortunately, though, I'm going to become emperor as this guy who is average, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. Although hopefully Brandenburg dies before me so I can die and then get like some free, uh, get, get some free, what is this called? Imperial authority. Disorder, I lose stability. Okay, that's not very cash money of you, game. And the nobles and the burgers are both mad as fuck. Um, I don't know if I really can make them happy to be honest. Sorry, fuck it, I'll just have to take the, uh, penalty. Bad fortune. 324. Come on. Give it to me. I need it. I need it. Thank you. Ooh, I can very easily, uh... Actually... No, I can't. Because... You know, I, I can grab the next two techs. With a reduced cost. But not the next three techs. The third tech is going to have a ahead of time penalty, so it's going to forcefully update this, so I can't just grab it for real fucking cheap. In fact, I can probably just grab this now. Boom. Yeah, see, it instantly updated to be 110% increased. And then it updated to 120% after it got rid of the, uh, the behind bonus. Alright, so what is the next idea group I have to take? I have to take an admin idea group next. Uh... Probably developments. Development is quite a good idea group. In fact, <laughs> uh, in one of my other games with this mod pack, I took development ideas as Ching. And by the time I had become the emperor of China, I think I had like 300 development from this idea group alone. It was fucking ridiculous. But that might have been just because I had a lot of really shit land. So that might be why, but I don't know. What else is there? There is innovative. Reduced war exhaustion is nice. Power projection from insults is doubled. Innovativeness gain is increased and reform progress growth is increased. Eh, maybe. Innovative, I think, would definitely give me, like, a minimum of 100 prestige, basically. So, I don't know. Monarchy ideas. Hmm... Centralization. I'm not going to be that big. Well, then again, I am going to be quite big. Because if I want to reform the fr Frankish Empire at its height, then I would need bits of Iberia, most of Italy, a good chunk of Germany. Um, yeah. So I guess I would be pretty big. But how many uh, do you get from... You get a lot of states the further you go into the game, so... And I feel like, hmm, 
Actually, if I grab state administration, that gives me more states, reduce state maintenance, increase caravan power, reduce corruption, extra merchant. That might not be a bad idea. The problem is, though, I feel that... Hmm. Yeah, I don't really need states right now. I don't know how many states I'll need by the end. What's health ideas do? Reduce unrest, increase tax, decrease idea cost, increase manpower recovery, increase siege, increase manpower, increase fort defense, increase production. I might want to look at what policies that has first. But anyway, I can't take the tech anyway, so it, I might as well just wait. Why does Saxon not like me very much? Allied arrival. Uh, border friction. Oh, anyway, yeah, so we do. I guess I can guarantee them. Make them like me a wee bit more. Come on, Brandenburg. Drop dead, my friend. The Diplorep guy. Perfect. The game just wants me to be Emperor at this point. Prestige guy. And again, the game wants me to be Emperor even more. <laughs> Unhappiness among the clergy. I don't really want to lose the 15 prestige, but I'm willing to bend the knee to the Pope. Uh, increase my prestige. Excellent. I should still be in line. Yes, I am. Good. Cannons and cavalry. I Am I using cavalry? Yes. Okay. And better cannons as well. Ooh, I also can get a few more units. I should probably get a cannon and an infantry. Excellent. Ooh, I got another unit. Excellent. So how is Protestant doing? It's doing quite well, unfortunately. Although, fortunately, there's only two uh, Reformation Centers. And they're both basically, like, in the same province. <laughs> they're two provinces apart, like, goddamn. Yeah, Bohemia doesn't want to vote for me anymore, for some reason. Is it because they're a heretic? No. I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, I need to get some big and powerful allies, ideally. Like, if I can ally myself with France and the Ottomans... Well... I don't know if I could ally myself with the Ottomans, they're a bit far. But definitely if I can ally myself with France... Then I could make the the uh, Protestant League a joke. Alright, what did I decide on again? I forget. <laughs> Shit. Oh yeah, right. I wanted to look at what policies I can get with health. Reduce attrition. That's quite nice. Uh, manpower recovery. That's also quite nice for just peacetime. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these are okay overall, but I feel like I don't want to take health ideas. Uh, jurisprudence? Uh, that makes me more tolerant of the heretics, which I don't want. Hmm. Maybe I will take centralization. Because that allows me to make much bigger cities. It allows me to just to build stuff faster. More goods produced, which is great. More manpower. I can change autonomy more often. Yeah, I, th I think I will take centralization. And what kind of ideas do I get out of it? Or not ideas, policies. Extra states, which would be potentially quite nice. Reduce land maintenance, naval maintenance, and fort maintenance. Culture conversion costs. Diplomat and diplo rep. And naval, land, uh, naval leader maneuver. Eh, Alright. The extra diplomat is quite nice. But I think I'd rather keep the Diplo rep. A bunch of idiots are at war with France. Ooh, France may have been off more than they could chew. Oh, the English attacked them. Well, well, well. I can also form the Rhinish nation. Alright, well, I'm going to make a save here real quick. 
because I need to see what happens when I form the Rhinus Nation. Also, I need to see what my ideas are, because I know I got a new idea set. So my current ideas are very diplomatic, very anti-heretic, with a few, uh, actually, Imperial Free City is completely useless, so, yikes. Alright, let's see what happens when I form the Rhinish Nation. So I get new traditions. Alright, very trade-focused, a bit military, a bit diplomacy. Hmm, reduce Merc Maintenance, which is useless to me. Reduce Dev Costs, which is kind of nice. Reduce Construction Costs, reduce Use of Separatism. I'm not sure which of the ideas I prefer, actually. Huh. Also, do I have a mission that allows me to form Francia? Because that's an important thing here. I don't think so. Wait. There we go. I do have that. Although this one is a bit more expensive, unfortunately. Yeah, it's more expensive. Also, it's more difficult... But, it does mean that I get to be Rhinelands. Hmm, this is actually a tough choice. I don't know. That's the problem. Because, I mean, there's like a whole lot of different things I could choose right now. I could choose to stay as Aachen. I could choose to become Rhineland. I could choose to become Rhineland and take Rhinish ideas. Um, ugh, fuck. Is there anything, aside from the... Aside from the, uh, aside from the cheaper reforming currency, is there anything that I care about in my previous mission tree? I don't know. It's cheaper reforming Francia. I mean, I could make Aachen, the, like, get an extra goods produced, which would be quite nice, considering how developed I'm going to make the city. Other than that, I don't think there's really anything I care about. Yeah, I mean, if I were to become tolerant of the Jews, I could make Aachen even better, but I don't know how I'm going to do that, so I guess I just won't do that. And I can't do continue the tradition because I'm not a free city anymore. Yeah, the problem is though, I have to be like, I have to be trading on cloth or be the leading producer of cloth, which is going to be rather tricky because cloth is an abundant trade good. Let's see. Trade. Strategic goods. Let's see. Yeah, cloth. I have 0% of the market share for cloth. Like, it would take me fucking ages to do that. I'd have to beat France with fucking 6.4%. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to say, uh... Screw it. I just become Rhineland. Yeah, become Rhineland. Do I want the new ideas, though? Because in both scenarios, like, I have a useless idea. Uh, that just doesn't matter. I think overall I prefer the Rhinish ideas though. They're more militaristic. While these ones are more diplomatic. Which probably I do want the more diplomatic ones. But I feel like as I move into the future I'm going to want more militaristic ideas. So yeah, let's take them. It also has some trade stuff in it so that's quite nice. Vienna and Saxony. Uh, Alright, let's put one in Saxony then. Or what? Sax oh, Saxony to Rhineland. Rhineland collects. Okay, then I put one in. There we go. In Vienna. Excellent. Alright, I can pass the Conventicle Act. Alright then. Brunswick is no longer a valid rival for Rhineland. Yep, there we go. I've got Cleansing the Heresy. Who is the heretic? I will end you. I will fucking end you! <laughs> I see a filthy little heretic on my border. Oh, he fucked up, son. He fucked up, and none of his allies are willing to assist him. Ooh, he's fucked. It's a filthy little heretic, squatting on my border. Gonna kick him in the dick. Hmm. I could call in Cologne. The problem with that, though, is that... Hmm. Wait, can I call in Cologne? Yes, I can. Do I want to just outright kill Brunswick? The problem is they don't have a center of reformation. And the ones who do have a center of reformation are not free cities. Okay, that's good to know. So actually, if I take... Um, who has the other one? Ah, Death Martian does, damn. Okay, well, if I were to take 
up to Hoya. So I take these three provinces. Then I can force Bremen to change their religion. I could take Stad and then force Death Martian to change their religion. And then I can remove the Protestant Centers of Reformation. Hopefully remove all of them. Elsos, Ulm, and the Pope. Wait, it says that clone will join me. Oh, but I need to promise them land. Okay, well, whatever. I need your access if I don't already have it. So let's get a... Um, let's get a sieging army together. Put you guys over there. Fighting army is going to go around and do shit, except they can't do anything because they're being stopped by this fort. Motherfucker. Does Elsos even have an army? They do. Oh, there it is. I found it. <laughs> They're over in Bohemia for some reason. All right, let's see here what um what missions I can do. So I have United Rhineland, which gives me prestige. I need two stability to stabilize the state, which will give me production efficiency. And I have morale of armies and discipline. Excellent. I don't have anything else, but what do I need to work towards? Workshops, manufactories, having more development in Aachen than Frankfurt's. I need five electors backing me. Jesus Christ. Uh, there needs to be the Protestant or Catholic League. And then until the end of the game, I get extra fort defense in Rhineland. I mean, that's okay, but I think I'd prefer if the League Wars just didn't happen. Hmm, I wish I can like, fucking siege out their other shit, man, but I can't. I guess what I'll do is I'll force convert Brunswick and also leave them with whatever the hell they have left. Oh, they don't even have, fuck. I don't even get aggressive expansion because they are Protestants. Oh, you fucked up now, son. I could probably even fully annex them and nobody would bat an eye. I fucking could. Yikes. Nobody better be stealing my kill. This is my land. Mine. I think I will leave Brunswick alive, though, because they're going to be a member of the Empire, and so long as they're the right religion, they will add more Imperial authority. Which I am going to need a lot of. See, so yeah, I'll leave them with Lundberg, I'll convert their religion, and I will prepare to destroy the Center of Reformation. Excellent. Hmm. Damn, I don't have enough. Alright, stop embargoing Brunswick. Keep that professionalism rising. Damn it, we need to have the most goddamn professional army in the world. Fuck off, Brandenburg. You're weaker than me, you bitch. I am the true emperor of the empire. I have the... I have the capital of the empire, damn it. I will not bend the knee... There's some silly emperor who thinks he's stronger than me. Right, unfortunately, though, Bremen has a lot of allies. So that's going to be quite tricky to work with. Yeah, Brunswick should be Catholic, and so should their province. The province isn't Protestant. Oh, it changed their current capital to Catholic. Whoops. <laughs> that's going to cause them some problems. Yeah, they're probably just going to become Protestant again. Or maybe not, we'll see. You're defending against Death Martian? Oh, Death Martian, you dumb motherfucker. You dumb motherfucker. If you come to me, I'm gonna come over there and fuck you. Because their Protestant center is in their capital, which means that if I force convert them, that's gonna be what's converted. Oh, you dumb motherfucker. Brandenburg. Now, well, who else would I rival, really? Bavaria, I guess? But Bavaria is a good Catholic, and Brandenburg seems to be becoming a filthy Protestant. Yeah, no, we'll rival Brandenburg. <laughs> hmm, yes. Yeah, My economy's not looking so hot, unfortunately. That's fine. Just gotta turn off the forts and it's all good again. Yeah, I need to figure out how the hell I'm gonna deal with Bremen, though. Because Bremen... That'd be a hard war... But it'd be a possible war. It'd be a 5v4. But my allies and me are stronger than, like, each of them. I 
ideally I'd wait till like another person is willing to join me. Like if I make the Pope like me more, like or if I say prepare for war, then the Pope would join in. See so if I just like increase the Pope's uh, trust of me, then yeah, the Pope will join. And then it'd be a 5v5 in which me and my allies are stronger than the enemy. Alright, let's cleanse this heresy. Wait till my reinforcements show up. Excellent. Kill him. In fact, you know what? I might even just, just start a war against this Martian as well. Just put get rid of this filthy... These filthy heretics once and for all. Yes, I like this idea. Pomerania won't help because Pomerania is already at war with me. There's East Frisia. Hmm. Oh, fuck. I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to send the people at me. That's not very cash money of you, bro. Yeah, I'm sure that my allies can handle the other war just fine. So while I'm over in this... So while I'm over killing off Death Martian and East Frisia, then they can just be over there handling the other bastards. Hmm, yes. Trying to fight a professional army with basically sticks and stones, it's not going to work, my friend. Let's get some extra siege ability. It also reduces attrition, so that's quite nice. I don't like the fact, though, that the enemy is sieging out my shit, though. What are my allies doing? They're being dumb as fuck, is what they're doing. I don't suppose I can, um... Yeah, I really don't suppose I can actually just white piece you, because I don't care about you. You're a good Catholic. Oh wait, no you're not. Shit. Well no, they are good Catholics still, it's just that their people aren't. Oh see, so yeah, and now there's reformed centers of reformation popping up, which is not okay. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta... Do I just take East Frisia? Well, the problem is I can't court, though. Shit. Oh, but Friesland. Oh, you made a mistake, bud. Unfortunately, though, it's not in their capital, so I can't just force convert them. I have to take their capital. Or not their capital, the uh, Center of Reformation. Alright, I have to siege out East Frisia, unfortunately. That's fine. These heretics will be put to the sword. Uh, I'd rather not have a bunch of rebels pop up right now. Hey, I got a tithe to keep me in this war. Hell yeah. Alright, now let's go and beat up the, uh... Alright, you? You are... You are a good Catholic, but your people aren't, which is really annoying. I might just vassalize them. That way I can make sure that they stay a good Catholic. Hmm. Not a bad idea. I actually want them to keep their claims, though, if I'm vassalizing them, so... Yeah, I'm not taking really any territorial gains in this war, so I don't care too much. I would like this extra Diplo rep, though, because if I'm spending a Monarch point each month, I might as well also get a Diplomat at the same time, so... Huh, the cowards are hiding behind their straight and their fleets. Unfortunately, that means I'm going to have to go around through Hamburg. I'm going to have to do a Hambush. Glorious will Rhineland be. Glory to Rhineland. Yep, then I will go in and beat up Death Martian. Force them to be good Catholics again. And then uh, I'll have to go work on Frisland. Because they are being filthy reformists. Who disobey the will of the Pope. And also the will of the Emperor. Disgusting heretics. Look, even the Pope is up here. Like, that's how serious this shit is. Like, the Pope had to show up to fucking slap some sense of these idiots. I am by far the legitimate Emperor, because nobody is more legitimate than me, or prestigious, or holy than I. I am the greatest. Shit, there's rebels. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, could I just, like, have somebody else deal with the siege for a little while? No. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, Lubeck is uh, sieged out. 
Lubeck is a good Catholic, though. Alright, Lubeck. For being a good Catholic, you get off with uh, just a few reparations. You're fine. And by a few reparations, I actually mean quite a few. Hmm. No, I don't care about that. Actually, I would prefer them to not be really friends with Friesland at all. That'd be ideal. There we go. Just a few light reparations for allying a filthy Protestant. But that is not as big of a crime as being a filthy Protestant. There we go. The ambush can begin. Get fucked. Yeah, that's right, you damn filthy Protestants. You didn't expect the ambush. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm the only one who could siege down to the Martians, so I have to just kind of let it happen. Hopefully, the rebels will show up on Brunschweg. Well, even then, they're going to walk to Brunschweg eventually, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, they show up at Hanover. Oh, well. Actually, as long as they don't take Hoya, it's not a big deal. Alright, filthy heretics. Hopefully, nobody else decides to convert to Protestant after seeing this great colossal failure of the ca- uh, not the Catholics. No, this is a fucking triumph for the Catholics. Yeah, it's good. The rebels are being dumbasses. Yes, hopefully no one else will convert to their filthy heretical ideals. Hmm, yes, Hamburg needs to be forcefully converted. I have a higher legitimacy gain, so let's reduce that. Alright, well, the ambush was completely successful. And with that, that is one Reformation Center gone. You know, I'm even going to force him to release Verdun. Fuck it. I'm going to let my army get out of there, though, first. There we go. For I am the Emperor. You will bend the knee to me... Even if I'm not the crowned emperor. Now then. I need to look towards the other filthy heretics. Hmm. It might even give my subject their claims. We'll see. Ulm and Cologne would both join me. Do I give Cologne Munster? Maybe I do. Weak of the filthy heretics, you know? <gasps> I have heretic land. I smell heretics. And I'm going to purge them all. Yes. Oh god, Riga's just over there chilling. Is anybody going out there? Didn't think so. Alright, let's just white peace with Pomerania. Because while they are filthy heretics, I want to continue my goals elsewhere. Hamburg? You're going to be ha taxed heavily, and also stop being friends with other people, because you don't deserve it. Not at all. And as for you, the major offender, you are going to be taxed the most for being a little bitch and trying to subvert the will of the Pope. Yes. Good. That's one problem dealt with. Now I need to deal with the other problem. And any potential more problems that show up in the future. Hmm. But. I think with me doing this great display of power that one should not fuck with the Pope or the true Emperor. I think this is a good time to end this video. I'll see you next time.